Good morning and welcome to another video and today is a good day and that's because tomorrow is test week so today is a Sunday I'm gonna test my squat tomorrow test my bench press on Tuesday and then test my deadlift on Wednesday and that means two things firstly it's exciting and secondly I'm gonna eat more food today and have some more of a cheat day so basically um, I want to make sure I've got enough calories and so that I'm feeling good for my testing but also I can afford to basically because like since the end of my cut I haven't really gained any weight at all I've been eating like a lot of food I've been having like double breakfast and double desserts and stuff but I've been hovering around the 94 kilo mark pretty much the entire time um, yeah so I've got a bit of kind of room for maneuver and like I said I want to make sure I'm feeling really good and strong uh, for the next few days so I'm gonna go in uh, with that in mind I've already had my breakfast I had it pretty early today because I wanted to give myself a nice big window to eat I had a pretty freaking incredible egg and bacon sandwich I had like a big old stack of them um, they were yeah they were like astounding all the egg was just running everywhere it was really really good um, and now we're about to head up to Sears' mum, mums, to continue my recent theme of having a double breakfast. So I'll see you there. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. All right, back home, that's 30 grams of whey with like loads of water. I'm trying to drink a lot today because I want to make sure I'm fully hydrated and feeling good tomorrow, particularly as it is hot today. It's a really, really nice day. Definitely going to go to the beach at some point. Anyway, my God, that was a lot of pastries. Definitely the most pastries I've eaten. I'm going to say since that video a while back, I did a video like a couple of months ago, which was like a pastry fest. I had like loads of pastries, but yeah, that was up there just then because basically there's a lot of people gathered around. Um, and they served the first lot of pastries, there was quite a few left over, so I had them, and then like another whole plate came out, and so, I don't know, must have eaten a good, I want to say six, maybe seven pastries, so a good couple of thousand calories of pastries there, so so far, this cheat day is going pretty well. Um, I'm going to kind of relax a bit, I've got a few more client emails to respond to, got a couple of programs to write, and then I guess we will start contemplating lunch. I smell your breath, not listening, but and lunch is served and this is what we've got so Sarah's made this incredible halloumi salad this like lettuce and rocket and spinach and stuff is from our garden they're my protein like seeds you get like a little seed mix they're really handy just to get some extra protein in your food um, these are those like awesome sausage pastry things like if you remember a little while ago we had a picnic and Sarah's made these and she had like a sick edit in there from Sarah's making these well these are more of those um, just thought I'd, you know, I hadn't had many pastries today, so I thought I'd get my pastry quota up. Psych, and then that is some hummus. Uh, so, where do I start? Halloumi for sure, because halloumi, if, if for some reason you're like an alien and you've never tried grilled halloumi, honestly, for me, by far the best cheese variant in the world. Done. Jeez. Um, when I had the first bite of the first pastry, my body was like, are you eating more pastry? But, plowed through, had to teach it a lesson. The lesson being, eat loads of pastries. Um, now, it is a glorious, glorious day. It's getting really hot, so I'm almost certain we're gonna go to the beach. Going under. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. Sounds like thunder. And the clouds are closing in. See, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus. Breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told me that I will take off and find something greener, greener than gold. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick like it's the best thing ever if you're new to the channel you don't know this i live like literally on the beach the beach is like a 50 meter walk if that from my house so whenever it's hot and sunny like it is now in the summer we always go down there just even if it's for, like 10 minutes to have a drink it's just like the best thing ever like i try really hard not to take it for granted because it is so cool but like 
if you live in land, like what do you do when it's really hot? You just kind of sit there and get hot. I don't know. Like I can't imagine not having the beach there. Like when it's hot, you just go to the beach. It's always a bit cooler there. You can go in the sea. It's just freaking awesome. I do definitely, definitely appreciate having that, um, having that there. Anyway, I got a Mars ice cream and just to add to, to the calories, keep the calories rolling. And on that front, we've now come up to Sarah's mum's again for like the 50th time in the last few days. Pretty much live here now because uh, they are going to put on an incredible barbecue. So fingers crossed that'll be good. Let's go. Barbecue is hot, salad is prepped, and potatoes are ready. Okay, this is live. Oh, Immediately post thumbnail well. being taken, which is why all the food really crispy, is uh, out on the table, but this looks pretty incredible. So the salad's there, potatoes, got some flatbreads and stuff. Look at this meat selection. Oh my God. Uh, hummus, crisps, etc. A few more bits on the barbecue over there. This is gonna be sick. I like it tomorrow, do I? Dinner is done, on to dessert. And dessert number two. Barbecue is done, it was unbelievably good as I anticipated. I'm now sat here doing a bit of work, I've got a decaf coffee. There's a bunch of absolute dorks over here doing a series of crosswords. Um, and also I've got to say, it's like night time now, it's like late, I don't know what it is, like half, almost 10 o'clock and Luke is in bed and we're not at our house, which is pretty good because it opens up a whole new possibility in terms of babysitting. <laughs> I'm home, it's late, it's dark, I'm tired and I'm going to go to bed in a sec because tomorrow is a big day. But first, I've got some protein here with milk for extra calories and creatine. And I finally finished my impact way, which means I can move on to the good stuff. Um, I'm currently on chocolate caramel flavor, which I've recently realized tastes quite a lot like a Mars milkshake, which is amazing because Mars, Mars milkshakes are incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this um, and then I'm going to bed. And I'm very pleased with how the day's gone, like I aimed uh, I did say at the start of the day it was going to be like a bit of a cheat day. I aimed to get a lot of calories in, and I think I've definitely done that. I'm kind of a bit annoyed that I didn't track them now because I reckon it would have been a lot of calories. Like, I would guesstimate, I reckon definitely over 6k, possibly pushing 7k, which I haven't done for a little while. So that's kind of good because that should set me up for tomorrow. But yeah, speaking of tomorrow, it's obviously a big day. I'm going to test my squat. Um, in terms of like goals, like plans, I just basically want to beat, so uh, before this training cycle started, obviously I'd finished my cut, I'd had a break where I went on holiday and stuff, um, and so when I competed I hit 245 kilos for my squat, which at the time was quite good considering, so as long as I put a reasonable chunk on that, I'll be happy, and then obviously test again in another seven weeks, put another chunk on it, and then it'll be British Champs time, and if I can do that, it should set me up to do fairly well there. Um, what I will do, uh, in terms of videos is I'll put my three test days I think into one video so squat bench and deadlift I'll make a video just kind of showing the three lifts like how I get on uh, and just kind of a quick kind of chat about it, I guess I so keep your eyes peeled for that that should be the next video on my channel unless I buy a unicycling Labrador in which case I'll almost certainly make a video about that. But that, my friend, is where I'm going to end this one because, like I said, I want to go to bed. So I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow.